Hey guys, today I want to show you a brand new 3D printed puzzle, I call it the Superstar. So I don't know if you remember this, I've actually made two puzzles in the past in the shape of a stellated rhombic dodecahedron. The first one turned like this. And the second one, well I don't have it anymore because I sold it and I should definitely make myself another one. Nevertheless, I really enjoyed that shape and I've decided to make a new puzzle and it is called the Superstar. And this is what it looks like. Now you might have noticed it has some pretty strange shapes on the faces, some pretty strange cuts. Uh, because when you look at a face that's triangular, you get one cut that cuts it in half, and then this sort of weird lateral cut right there. Well, let me show you how this puzzle turns. So, you've got this first type of turn that's around the corners, like this. Well, it's not really corners, considering these are corners, but it's like concave corners. So it turns like this. And that is, well, that explains the first type of cut, the lateral cut here. Um, now, let me show you the second type of cut, this one. Well, that's actually a face turn, if you call this a face turn. Uh, this is the equivalent of a cube's face. So, this corner here, and it turns like this. So basically, these are the two cuts that you can get. You get these corner cuts here. Um, let me see if I can just move one or two, like that. It's basically the equivalent of a dino cube because you've got these dino edges right there and the centers which are the triangular sets of pieces in the middle. And the thing is, this is crossed with an edges only 3x3, three three, like, like this. So when you look at it like that, this is the equivalent of a cube's face and this is the edge. So you cross a dino cube and an edge is only 3x3 three three, and this is what you get. Except this has one extra move that I didn't show you guys and that's what makes it even cooler. Well. I'll let you try to find it for a second. Can you see the other move? So there's these cuts here that allow turns like this. These cuts there that allow turns like that. Well, the last cut is simply this one. You can actually turn the stellations. You, you can turn those as if they were faces. So this is really cool. This is something extra. So this is technically a corner turning cube, face turning cube, and edge turning cube, so this has all three types of rotations, which means there are the six axes of a cube, the eight axes of a face turning octahedron or corner turning cube, and 12 axes of edge turns, of helicopter cubes basically, which means the total is 26 axes. And this is what I really like about this puzzle, it, is that it's, it mixes every type of move in one puzzle that has one of my favorite shapes. So this is really awesome. Um, I really enjoy that puzzle. This is definitely one of the favorite ones uh, that I made this year for me. Um, yeah, and I, I don't think, no, it can't jumble or anything, but you can get it to scramble like that. It's, it's quite interesting, in my opinion. I, I really like how it looks, and it spins really well. Uh, something I did on this one that I don't usually do is I super I, I, I put a super glue coating over all the stickers. Now that's because I made a mistake in the design that has already been fixed. Um, I didn't put recesses in the in the parts for the stickers. So when I turned this, the stickers tended to peel off or be damaged. And uh, so I just put a super glue coating and now I can do whatever I want without the stickers being damaged at all. And that's really cool. So this is uh, sort of the solution that I found to solve the problem of, uh, of the mistake I made in the design. So I guess it all ends well because this is a really cool design. Uh, next version will not be needing um, reset, well, will not be needing super glue coating, but you know. That's uh, the next version and I'm not gonna get one, but the reason why I designed one, well, I can't really tell you yet, but you will know. I might start selling my puzzles soon again. Not just yet, so uh, be patient if you want my puzzles, and uh, in the meantime, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really like this puzzle and I, I hope you did too. Uh, if you did, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel as always. I've put all the links in the description, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.